3.4 million inhabitants of Berlin produce approximately 550,000 cubic meters of wastewater per day, of which 90,000 cubic meters are daily led to the Falkenberg wastewater treatment plant for purification. The wastewater treatment plant is situated in a residential area and can no longer cope with the state of the art and so is to be shut down in 2002. Therefore, the Berlin of Wasserbetriebe have decided to transfer the incoming wastewater to the extra urban treatment plants at Schöner Linde and Wassmannsdorf. The transfer of the incoming waste water to the Wassmannsdorf treatment plant requires two pressure lines, each with a diameter of 1.2 meters. To this end, comprehensive planning procedures had to be accomplished within a short time. Thorough studies of different variants of the pipeline having a length of approximately 18 kilometers. A large number of subsoil studies and intensive coordination with management administrations and approval authorities. The planned line underpasses a spray river, railway tracks, dense urban building areas, protected landscape areas and the Telto Canal. Up to now pipelines have been laid using open trenches or pipe pushing techniques. In the central conurbations it proved impossible to lay a nine kilometer stretch of line using one of the aforementioned techniques. The solution? A tunnel reaching a depth of up to 25 meters through which the two pressure lines are laid thus avoiding all negative accompanying phenomena regarding environment, inhabitants and traffic. Now we shall demonstrate the construction process of a line section. At first a starting ditch for the tunnel construction machine is excavated. The depth of this excavation, mainly below water level, is up to approximately 30 meters. Now the tunnel construction machine can be lowered into the starting ditch. The earth excavated at the full cross section is hydraulically fed up to the surface. Supporting fluid and compressed air prevent the ingress of soil and water during the advance. Behind the tunnel construction machine, a reinforced concrete ring is built in. Each ring consists of segments, the so-called tubbings. During further advance, the presses exert pressure onto the latest reinforced concrete ring produced. A sophisticated control system monitors the entire advance. Following the underpassing of the obstacle shown and the arrival at the end shaft, the laying of the two DN1200 pressure lines can begin. The 8.13 meter long cast pipes are lowered into the excavation. There they're mounted on a pipe engine fitted with cones and the pipe clamp. The engine transports the pipe set into the tunnel.
the pipes are hydraulically pushed onto the already installed pipe section. The pipe clamp for securing the pipes is brought into its final position. The engine returns to collect the next pipe set for installation. Following the completion of a line section, a pressure check is carried out. Finally, the remaining space between the pipeline and the tunnel wall is filled with groundwater. Following the commissioning of the wastewater pressure line, the Falkenberg wastewater treatment plant will be shut down and demolished in order to allow a new utilization of the site. <laughs>